How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back with another video and today we're bringing a brand new brand to the channel. They are Galvin Green. The good folks over there were very, very kind enough to send me an outfit over to try out. So I'm going to bring you my review of the outfit to let you know what I think. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. If you have not done so already guys, do hit that subscribe button down there for me if you like all things golf fashion. Do drop a like on today's video if you enjoy the content and if you've got any Galvin Green bits, do drop me a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. So the Dixon in the Barbary colorway is where we're gonna begin guys. So the Dixon retails for around 100 pounds, comes in sizes small through to 3XL. So this is made with Galvin Green's Insula fabric, a fantastic fabric. I've had a couple of Insula bits in the past. It's very lightweight, it's very breathable. It's, it's warm, but it's not that warm. Um, I wouldn't say this is gonna be a layer that you're gonna wear on the outside and just, just that in these winter months, I would probably be putting a gilet on over the top. The fit is pretty fine in the body for me. It's a little bit looser than some of the JL bits in the body, but the sleeves are mega, mega tight. So if you do have oversized forearms, some people do. Paul Casey, shout out Paul Casey. <laughs> He has oversized forearms. He'd be struggling, I believe, in this top. So do bear that in mind when you're looking at sizing, guys. It's made from a blue sign fabric, which means it's an eco-friendly fabric. Um, I do think this is a really cool direction that Galvin Green are going in. And so, uh, yeah, to be able to be eco-friendly is a massive plus. This is the half zip version. You do have a couple of really nice details on here. You've got the Galvin Green logo on the back of the neck there. And then you do also have the Galvin Green down one of the sleeves really nicely there. If we can get that a focus, that would be perfect. Even though the sleeves are tight, I am a big fan of the fit. Moving on guys to this Markle shirt. It retails for £70 and comes in sizes small through to double X. I really do like the design on this. It's very, very breathable with Galvin Green's Ventil Plus fabric. Features a high level of moisture wicking and UV protection up to 20 plus. I do like the fit. The sleeves are very, very short and they are very, very tight. So um, if you've got bulging biceps, shout out to all of you guys out there who have bulging biceps. These are gonna be very tight around the tops of your arms. I take a medium in everything that I'm showing you top wise. So uh, I really quite like the fit. Uh, the fabric is, it's nice, it's very, very lightweight. Really noticeable how lightweight it is. It's quite different to some of the JL polos that I own. Because it's so lightweight, it almost doesn't feel like the quality is quite there. I think the quality is there, but it just kind of feels a, a little less so because of how lightweight it is. That's not a slight, just saying. I'm not a massive fan of the collar on these. I prefer more of a stiffer collar, but um, it's still very, very nice and still, uh, I think, does accent the shirt very nicely. It fits great lengthwise, guys, so no problem tucking this in. It will stay tucked in during your round of golf. No problems there. I do really like it when shirts stay put. It features the Galvin Green logo on the back of the neck there, as well as down the sleeves, sort of very reminiscent of a uh, Jay Lindeberg piece there. So uh, yeah, big fan of this polo shirt, guys. I think the design is really very, very cool indeed. And it's certainly a shirt that I'll be rocking a fair bit this summer. Moving on, guys, to the Noah trousers. These retail for a hundred pounds. They come in a plethora of sizes. I mean, every size imaginable they come in. They feature high levels of moisture wicking, stretchy, breathable, all that good stuff that you would come to expect from a really premium trouser. Uh, the doing up system on these guys is very interesting. You do have the little hook here which goes in to the, uh, the little slot there. You do then have a button. Once they're done up, they feel really nice and solid. The zip is a really high quality zip. And then you also do have the two layers, not just one. You've got two lines here of rubber keeping that shirt tucked in at all times. I loved how stretchy these were. I loved how breathable they were. The fit is, it's a slim cut, but it's not as slim as I would like. I'd like a slightly slimmer fit personally, but I think if you're appealing to the masses, I think these trousers will be a lovely fit for most. 
You do have Galvin Green detailing, guys, on the back of the pocket there, which I think is really, really smart. And then again, around on the front, just above your front left pocket, you have the Galvin Green logo there as well, which is really, really nice. They have a somewhat kind of weird sheen to them. I don't think you can quite, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. I'm used to my juice trousers, which I wear all the time. They're just like a flat matte navy, but these have a little sheen. I'm not against the sheen, I'm not for the sheen. Just letting you know, there's a sheen there. All in all, I think these are gonna be a pair of trousers that I'm gonna wear quite a lot. They are very, very nice to keep the shirt tucked in. They're very, very stretchy, mega comfy, and for that reason, I think you'll see me wearing them a fair bit. Okay, guys, moving on to the final part of the outfit. It is a Wayne belt. So uh, this belt is just like no other belt that I've ever owned. It retails for £70. It's a cuttable, adjustable length belt. And I thought at first I needed some form of degree in engineering or something to get this bad boy to work. But since using it, I have got the hang of it. So you cut it to length, guys. And then you have this train track type system on here. Some of you are going to be like, this is really not that new. You should really have heard about this before. But I haven't heard about it before, and this is my first time using it. The leather on this is really premium. I'll chuck that in while we're talking about it. The leather is really nice. The little Galvin Green hit that you get there at the end of the belt is lovely. So it goes in here like this, like any other belt. This system in here is absolutely nuts. There's so much going on in here. It's incredible. So we put that in here. It goes in, and then you can hear it, hopefully, hopefully. And it's kind of clipping in as it uh, as it goes, and it just stays put, which is really nice. But then getting it off, absolutely busting for the toilet I was. Oh, God. When I wore this for the first time, I had no idea how to get it off after I got it on. So you've got this little lever on the bottom here, you push it up or sort of push it away from you if you like, and then you slide it out. Desperate times, I managed to get to the toilet and I was okay in the end. But uh, I'm just saying, might want to study hard if you want to wear this belt. I'm a big fan of the belt, and what I do love as well is that the colour goes perfectly with the navy trousers. I'm a big fan of the belt and trouser colour matching perfectly. Nothing more annoying than when you get a brand and you get a belt and their trousers, same brand, and the colour is off. So I'm a big fan of the fact that this matches perfectly with the trousers. So that is the outfit, guys. A big, big thank you to the guys once again over there, Galvin Green and Sports Impact, for making this video a possibility. Without the support of you guys, it's very difficult to level up and grow the channel to the level that I want to. So once again, thank you to you. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, do once again hit that subscribe button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below if you liked any of the pieces and you want any more information regarding any of the pieces I've shown you in this video, do drop a comment in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very, very soon.